મારુ નામ છે મનસુખભાઈ આંબાભાઈ જાગાણી પાંચ સોપડી નો અભ્યાસ છે નાનો એવો વર્કશોપ બનાવ્યો ત્યાર પછી આ નવી નવી ટેકનોલોજી અજમાવી છે પહેલેથી એમ કે નવું હોય તો એમાં મજા આવે નવું કામ કરવાનું मैंने देखा महिलाएं जो है आंवले को हाथ से कद्दूकस कर रही हैं तो क्यों ना इसके ऊपर मैं काम करूं क्योंकि मैंने यहाँ पर आंवले को मंगाया और आंवले को कद्दूकस किया हाथ से तो हाथ छीलने लगे अब तक जितने भी छोटे यंत्र निकले हैं दुनिया में तब से वो कम्प्लीटली काम अच्छी तरीके से करता है जल्दी से करता है कम लागत से करता है तो इसी आइडिया से हमने यही लिया कि भाई किसान को ऐसा छोटा हथियार दिया जाए तो दिक्कतें सभी कम हो जाएगी पीपल हुव सॉल्व देयर प्रॉब्लम थ्रू देयर ओन जीनियस मेनी टाइम्स आर नॉट इवन एजुकेटेड दे ऑन क्लास फोर्थ फिफ्थ और टेंथ नो वेन सच पीपल सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम दे ऑब्वियसली ट्राई टू यूज देयर नॉलेज मच मोर देन द मेटीरियल्स सो मोस्ट ऑफ द ग्रास इनोवेशन आर फ्रूबल एंड आर एक्सट्रीमली एफोर्डेबल Large number of them are also affordable for environmental system. So they are also green grassroots innovation. Once we started documenting, disseminating these innovations, we realized that these innovations have a lot of applicability not just in the country but around the world. Most of the agricultural activities in Kenya are small scale subsistence farming. We need to bring back the young people into agriculture. We also need to enhance and support the women participation in agriculture. The only way to do that is to go through mechanization. We thought that if we introduce some of these technologies it might be exciting for the young people. The USAID recognized the work that Honeybee Network had done and suggested why don't we develop a proposal to transfer three technologies in open source from India to Kenya. When Srishti decided to do this technology transfer, our objective was not just parachuting of technologies from India to Kenya. We wanted these technologies to be tailored to Kenyan conditions. We started with a three wheel and we found that the topography of land was not favorable for operation of this machine. It requires a relatively flat land. The farmers, when they tested the, the original dribbler, the seeds would drop three, or sometimes they miss, they don't drop. The first machine which we had, it was small, making a little juice. It was not able even to personalize it. So we requested us as farmers whether they can go back to India and make a big one and the one which can do more work. There are some things that I don't even think about, that the other man tells me. So we are doing such a machine. We also identified the artisans that could work on the maintenance of this machine. We took them to India to learn. When we went out, we went out and 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 we went out. I didn't know how, how I can sharpen this. As we move forward, we will work hand in hand because we realize that the sector of agriculture needs, needs uh, your Kali sector. The technologies, if you see, are much different than the ones that were introduced. The process of developing the standards for this particular type of machine is now done. They are model based on people to people learning, South South cooperation that we have shown in this case is a viable model. And we should try many more technologies to be diffused in the same framework. Development is always a two way street. It is not that one party gives and another party takes. Both sides have to learn from each other. 
and from that point of view I see it as a very empowering, very empathetic, very energizing model of poverty.